beta blocker poisoning? Let's play a game today. We're at the police station. I am an investigator. You are a doctor. We will try to figure out one unpleasant case. A five-year-old boy took a propranolol pill from his mother. After that, the boy developed a strong weakness, hypotension, low pulse and was taken to intensive care units. Mom believes that this has nothing to do with the pill. It's just that the child has developed a serious disease and doctors are wrong, nothing happens from one pill. What do you think, doctor? If I revise the literature regarding taking one propranolol tablet in children under 6 years of age, I do not find a clear medical approach to these cases. The case of death or serious hemodynamic instability is not described. On the other hand, there is a purely theoretical danger. It's interesting. And if he took propranolol all the time, he could develop these symptoms from taking an additional pill. What do you think? As with children on chronic beta blocker therapy such as propranolol, several cases of cases of symptomatic hypoglycemia associated with a single dose acute propranolol exposure suggest a vulnerability to this complication. No, according to his mother, he is healthy and did not take any treatment. There is no decrease in glucose levels in blood tests. These are mom's pills that she took against high blood pressure and forgot to remove from the table. Social services do not detect violations. Maybe mom is right? I am not familiar with this case in detail, I answer only theoretically. There is a certain differential diagnosis of beta blocker poisoning. Calcium channel blocker poisoning. Digoxin poisoning. Clonidine poisoning. Cholinergic poisoning. Other disease causes hemodynamic instability. You helped me a lot. Thank you. Thank you.